Let me share some long lost lore of heroes and villains. There was once a group of legends. They called themselves Lionhead. They created a game called Fable Legends. This game was beautiful, fun, and created communities of players that were both hero and villain. After a lot of bad decisions by the parent company Microsoft, the game Fable Legends and the company Lionhead were shut down. This closure would happen just days before the open beta of the game was slated to come out. The alpha and beta testers of Fable Legends were made to sign an NDA before being allowed to play. This NDA was active for five years after the closure of the beta testing of the game Fable Legends. April 2021 was the end of this NDA. This series of videos will show you my gameplay of Fable Legends, images of art, images of some of the physical objects I own, and the beautiful world I was allowed to play in back in 2016. This video is Celeste's journey to Bright Lodge. This stargazer is part of the people of the Great Question. Celeste learned how to control light with her mind. She could heal her allies with Healing Orb, where she would place a ball of Healing Light where they would have to walk through it. You could spot a good Celeste player by her use of Healing Orb. Celeste had attack abilities too, like Starfall. She would hit her enemies with a powerful bolt of light, knocking them down and interrupting their attacks. She could also use Radiance to become a beam of pure light, damaging anything she touched. Her offensive abilities didn't stop there though. Celeste can call on the power of the stars to smite her foes burning her enemies to a crisp. By charging this power, she can do more damage. Defensively, Celeste was as beastly as her massive height. She could shield her allies with light, protecting them from damage, and can turn into light, dodging attacks. Celeste would use these abilities in Albion while spreading her knowledge about the stars. One day, a bard told Celeste a tale of heroes making a journey to Brightland. Let me tell you a story of heroes, of adventurers, warriors, masters of will. Old legends spun and retold as the night closes in. But this world is young and ready to make legends of its own. All across Albion, a brave few are turning their backs on the campfire's light defying the magic that lurks in the untamed wilds. And heroes? Well, rumors of their return burn like wildfire, spreading from an old town ablaze with new ambition. And so those would-be heroes travel the road to Bright Lodge, seeking fame and fortune, justice, or glory. Celeste had spent her life searching the stars for answers. At last, a sign had come, and it pointed the way to Bright Lodge. She had set out immediately.
The stars protected Celeste as she journeyed through Albion. What were red caps next to the power of the light? There were loads of them. All teeth and spikes and eyes. Oh, they'll have made such a mess of my petunias. If I had my way, you'd be dead already. <laughs> but seeing as I'm not quite myself, how can I help? Ah, you there. Serve malice and assist this farmer. This week that little so-and-so has run off with her first sniff of a red cap. Well, help yourself to that chest he presumed I'd drag along after him. That'll learn him a lesson. Excellent! Now, strive forth with malice and conquer Bright Lodge! Yow! Fine. Strike forth with malice and happily visit Bright Lodge! What a curious companion. Was this one of the heroes the stars had revealed? I am pleased. Only time would tell. Another hero? Celeste had come in search of answers, but so far had only found further questions. Oh, go on then. 
A warning. But whatever was ahead couldn't be too bad. If it were, surely Celeste would have seen it coming. relics of the past, and their return would be portentous indeed. Celeste had been skeptical of the patterns she'd seen in the stars, and yet, could they really be true? are not merely intoxicated. Ah! No, K.O. Trust me on that. Did you hear that? Don't play heroes. Will you stop cranking for here? Bright 
Bright Lodge was but a short walk away. What would Celeste learn when she got there? What answers did it hold for these would-be heroes? Flowers, you're too late. We need you ready to start the. Oh, blimey. More heroes. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Welcome to Bright Lodge, the pride of Albion and seat of Wendell Glass the Magnificent. You can go in now. Speaking to the king was likely to reveal some answers. <laughs> Celeste was keen to leave the crowd behind and find the man who brought them here. is smaller than I expected, but then most things heroes. are. I knew this day would come. I built this town up from the rocks, and now you, the heroic peach on my kingly pudding. Now, I'll be opening the festivities in just a few minutes, and I want you front and center. But before that, Greg's honor, I've just one thing to ask. Could you pop by my boy? He's a quiet sort. And it's do him good to see a real hero. No, no, I'm I'm not the Wendell Glass you're after. Oh. Hello. I suppose Father sent you. He does so like to keep me included. Still, nice to see a friendly face. Oh, yes, I, I had to give you a message. Wendell Glass Hall would very much like it if you posed for a portrait. Would you be able to pop down and uh, see Colin? You're not how I imagined. But that's a good thing, really. I'm sure Father's very pleased with you. Thank you for distracting Father. It's rather nice not to be the centre of attention for a change. Well, uh, yes. Heroes, eh? Super. You're not how I imagined. But that's a good thing, really. Father has some magnificent event planned. Oh, I just hope I don't have to speak. I'm sure Father's very pleased with you. Father has some magnificent event planned. Oh, I just hope I don't have to speak. Why, hello. Goodness, look at you. <laughs> Nothing like my initial sketches. Well, we'll soon sort that out. Bright Lodge must have an accurate record of this momentous occasion. What are these things pecking at the ground? They cannot be birds, for all birds fly. Mm. Hold that pose, right there. 
Marvellous. Uh -huh. I shall have your mm. portrait ready in a jiffy. <sighs> Just look at you. I'm going to need a better class of brush. What heady days we live in. The return of heroes. I had quite given up hope of drawing something so exciting. Young Wendell Glass is a good heart, you know. Don't underestimate him. How did you find Wendell Glass? Don't you just quiver at the way his moustache dances on the wind? I always wondered what a hero looked like. Now I know. What heady days we live in. The return of heroes. I had quite given up hope of drawing something so exciting. Young Wendell Glass has a good heart, you know. Don't underestimate him. I don't suppose you saw my good charcoal on your way in. It seems to have wandered off. Young Wendell Glass has a good heart, you know. Don't underestimate him. Don't you look magnificent? Everything I'd hoped, and more. <clears throat> Citizen, subjects of Bright Lodge, we stand at the dawn of a new age, an age of kings, an age of heroes. The myths of the past are returned to us. And it is I, Wendell Glass the First, who has brought them to you. No more do we need fear the world beyond the bridge. No more shall we cower in homes of mud and stone. No more... <laughs> My children, stolen from their home, stolen from me, from life itself. You wanted them, Wendell Glass. You wanted their adoration. Let me look at you. You don't deserve them. And so, you shall join them.
Whatever had stolen Wendell Glass was a force to be reckoned with, for it had blinded Celeste to its approach. She would have to pursue it if she was to learn more. <laughs> 